Describe the use of biotechnology in the production of lactose-free milk. This is a six-mark question, which has quite a few different points that we can put down. And I want you to begin by talking about what lactose is. So you can lactose, as we all know, is a is a two molecule of sugar, but milk contains lactose. That's the first point that we're going to write down. Um, and lactose can be broken down into galactose and glucose by the enzyme lactase. So that's demonstrating your knowledge that lactose is a disaccharide and can be broken down further on. Now, lactase, the enzyme which is breaking down lactose, can be found in certain types of yeast. That's the origin of where the lactose is going to be. And the next thing that we want to say is that the lactase which is found uh, in within these yeasts you grab those yeasts you essentially grow that and the biotechnology companies they do grow that and then you can extract that lactase you can extract that enzyme from the yeast itself and then put that onto your machinery now the lactase what happens is that it's immobilized onto beads and these beads they are fixed onto a surface and then the lactose um, which is found in milk that's poured over these beads and then as the milk runs over the beads then we have the digestion of lactose into simpler molecules now why is lactose free milk important and it's quite easy um, it's the fact that some people are lactose intolerant. They don't have the lactase enzyme, so when they ever they do drink milk, then they get grumbly tummy, they get burping, they get sometimes get diarrhea as well. It's not very pleasant. Now I'm Asian, and I know that Asians are more predisposed to um, lactose intolerance. And as soon as you break down this lactose using the enzyme lactase, then you are then you are able to convert that into lactose-free milk, and then because of that this lactose-free milk can be consumed by lactose-intolerant people. That's that last point.